The High Road is dedicated to the men and women of the United States Armed Forces, past, present, and future. Meet Keith Warren. As a 30-year veteran of the outdoor industry and devoted conservationist, the original Texas angler and outdoor television icon has hunted across America and around the world. Showing you big game, educating outdoorsmen, and uniting all hunters. That's Keith Warren. And this is The High Road. I'm Chris Walker. I'm deer manager at the Four Canyon Ranch in Uvalde, Texas, and we breed big deer. We've been breeding big deer for a long time. If somebody is looking to improve the genetics on their ranch, we can help you. We sell and deliver some of the best white-tailed genetics in the country. What's different about us is we can sell deer outside of the state of Texas. And we can deliver as well. If you want big genetics on your ranch, give us a call. We'll set up a scheduled time where you can come out, see our facilities, see our animals, see the way we do things, and then we can take it from there. Most guys that I know that are wildlife managers, serious deer managers, uh, they've gone, they've used every tool that they can use, from a high wire fence to, I mean, you name it. Uh, Reconics game cameras, uh, the, the, uh, ear tags in the deer. There are all kinds of tools that are available and somebody may be thinking, well, why do you want to use all those tools? Why do you want to use that technology? Well, why would a carpenter want to use a, a circular saw when he's building the house? He can do it the old fashioned way. It's because they're better ways. They're more efficient ways. And as, the, as people get older, they need to realize that, you know what, wildlife management doesn't happen overnight. We live in a microwave world, people want, they want instant results. It doesn't happen that way with wildlife management. So what I look at is I look at the people that have spent the time, blood, sweat, tears, money, that have spent the time, and I want to listen to what they have to say, and I want to see if it's something that would work for me. And on today's show, we're at a place where they have spent the blood, sweat, tears, and money and trust me, they got it dialed in. Oh yeah, this is set up just right. You'll notice I've got a ultimate scrape gripper right here and I'm using special golden estrus and right here, I've got a Reconyx camera. So it'll take pictures of anything that comes over there and Right here, underneath this tree, I wound up last year, shot a buck out of that blind right there, and the arrow hit right here in this tree. Now this area, this area is uh, something I just don't have one of these ultimate scrape grippers up. I have multiple ones up. Now, out of all the deer senses, a nose is by far his best sense. And so what we're trying to do here, we're just trying to trick his nose and make this area an area that the deer want to be in, period. So we've got multiple ultimate scrape grippers around, and this one's gripping right now. Uh, we're using special golden estrus, but whenever you try to play tricks on a deer's nose, make sure and eliminate your scent and make sure and wear rubber gloves and it will increase your success tremendously. The High Road with Key Warren is brought to you in part by Gamma Precision Air Rifles, Glock, 
oil field camel. Supercharged scent killer by Wildlife Research Center. Beyond 99%. And Heartcraft hunting products. Watch the high road in HD at KeithWarren.net. We had a big cold front come through yesterday, and it is still as it can be. A little bit of breeze out of the north. What we're going to do is try to do something a little bit different. We're going to, uh, we're going to actually, we're going to spray down here, and then we've got a a big field that a lot of deer are coming in and out of. There's a big oak tree with an archery stand in there. We're going to go get up in that oak tree, but we're not going to be doing a archery hunt. We're going to take the Glock Model 20 and see if we can get busy. You can take a deer, let's just say he's not such a great genetic deer, and you can give him age by just not shooting. You can give him nutrition by pouring the record rack to him, but guess what? Genetically, he doesn't have what it takes to cut the mustard, to really make the A team. Those are inferior bucks. Those are what we call management bucks. And we try to get them out of the breeding pool before they have a chance to spread those bad genetics. You may be thinking, do all deer that are genetically proven produce big deer? Well, no, not always. There's still gonna be some management deer out there. This week, we're taking some management deer. We wanna take the management deer before rut and it's fixing to get ruddy. So we really need to get in there and take these animals um, before they breed. Look at that. It's a Glock Model 20 pistol. This is a 10 millimeter. And I have, uh, I've, I've done a lot of hunting with Glocks. I, I do a lot of practicing with it since I got my CHL. I am, uh, I'm very, very comfortable shooting 50, 60 yards with it. And as you can see, it did the job. You put it in the boiler room, it'll take them out. Oh yeah, look here, yeah baby. Oh my goodness, this is the perfect kind of deer to take. He's a great big old deer. He may not be, be big on the antler part of it, but I'll tell you what, he, big on the body. He is absolutely a beautiful animal. Look at the main beams on this guy. I mean, long sweeping main beams. I'm giving him, he's at least four. He may be five years old. And if you take a look, he's, I mean, the uh, he's broke this off, I guess. Well, it was growing, I don't know. And maybe he's recently broke it off his brow time, but this is kind of cool right here. But this is just a beautiful example of an old deer. You know, when an old deer walks out, you'll know it. I know a lot of guys will wind up saying, well, how do you know if a deer is mature? When you see one, you will know it. If there's any doubt, don't shoot if you're trying to manage. Now, uh, most people that I deal with and the people here on Four Canyons Ranch, they manage, they're very, very serious about it. They're as serious about it as I am, and I love that. They want to grow big deer. 
And this is a big deer, but he's not big antlered. And so what happens, I want to point out that not all deer have the, have the genetic uh, capability of growing big antlers. But you can definitely reduce the, uh, the risk, if you will, as a, as a landowner, whitetail manager, by dealing with people that have great genetics in their herd. And so we have hunted and hunted and hunted, and I mean passed up a lot of young deer that have got super genetics looking for an old deer. And if an old trophy would have come out, well, I'd have busted him, but an old management buck came out. And I took him and said, but just check this guy out. I mean, he's a heck of a deer. So if y'all want more information on, on genetics, on improving genetics on the herd at your place, wherever it is. And the cool thing about dealing with Four Canyons Ranch is they can actually ship deer from their deer breeding facility anywhere in the United States. And they'll handle the permits and everything else. Just all you need to do is log on to my website. We've got a direct uh, link over to Four Canyons. But this right here is an awesome deer. And uh, in a couple of weeks, and it's hot now, but in a couple of weeks, uh, we got a couple of guys coming over here. We're gonna be videotaping, and uh, hopefully they'll be able to get some big old deer too. But uh, this is a nice treat, especially taking it with my Glock. The High Road with Keith Warren is brought to you in part by Reconnaissance Game Cameras, Savage Arms, Keith Warren's Texas Hidden Springs Ranch, the best value in Texas trophy deer hunting. Grizzly Cartridge Company. And Jardin Consumer Solutions, makers of the Game Saver. Magnum. Squeeze a little bit and see what comes out. Ooh. Hi, my name is Harris Janelle. We're at Four Canyons Ranch in the middle of November and the rut is about to get cranking. The Four Canyons Ranch is located in the Texas Hill Country and we are not a commercial hunting operation. We uh, have this ranch for our friends and for our family. Uh, this morning we're going hunting on Four Canyons with my lifelong friend, John Bundy. Uh, we're hoping to be able to harvest a great trophy. I'm John Bundy from Austin, Texas. Uh, I'm one of those hunters that shoots a deer a year. I've always been a big wing shooter, but I've never been a, you know, a crazy deer hunter. Uh, you guys should really check this out. This is exciting what you're getting ready to see. Literally every, every deer in the area came to our stand because of what was hanging in these trees. What was really cool to me was actually seeing that buck uh, come over and, and make the scrape on the tree. I'd never actually seen that in person. I've always heard stories, but I'd never seen it. It was, it was really a cool mo moment for me. So every, every year in the past when I've shot a deer, you're looking at shots 100, 150 yards plus. That wasn't the case here. This deer was right in front of me. <laughs> I just killed by far the biggest deer of my lifetime. By far. That was incredible. Thank you guys. <laughs> it's amazing. One of the amazing things about this ranch is the, the family that that's, owns this place has been in the deer business for the last 30 years and they've had a pretty aggressive breeding program and it's, it's basically uh, been for their family and friends and, and you, we have opportunity like this to come out and shoot a great deer because what they've been doing for the last three decades. You know there's an amazing opportunity for land, landowners all over America to, to really get into this business and, and, and formulate their own breeding program and, and build a place like Four Canyons. Oh my gosh. Look at this sucker. 
God. Dude, can you believe this thing? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-one? Twenty-one. I'll tell you what, this this uh this deer and, and, and just this setup here at the Four Canyons is unbelievable. This deer is a testimony to what a good deer program can do to a to a fantastic ranch. This is, this is definitely the deer, the best deer I'll ever shoot in my entire life. And uh, I owe gratitude to my buddies at, at Four Canyons. This, this, this place is unbelievable. There's a lot of people in Texas that can sell deer. And there's a lot of people in Texas that have great genetics. But the one great thing about Four Canyons is we've been in this, this business for 30 years and we have focused on deep pedigree and great genetics and improving great results. And we're an accredited breeding program, breeding permit number three in the state of Texas, and we can ship all over the country. Our deer are tested and healthy. And if you're interested in buying a great deer program for your ranch, give us a call. The High Road with Keith Warren is brought to you in part by Striker Crossbows, Hoffpower Polaris, Burt Coyotes, Luminoc and Luminaris, Shadow Hunter, your total comfort hunting block. Elevators, your easy way up. Supercharged scent killer by Wildlife Research Center. Beyond 99%. And BSA Optics. Off Power Polaris presents Viewer Feedback. Here's one from a guy in Colorado. His name is Fred Long. And I think you're going to like this one. I'm a western bow hunter and I can't understand how anybody can justify game farms. Listen up. Game farming is wrong no matter how you look at it. Leave the animals alone and let's keep hunting natural. If anything, game farming needs to be held to higher standards, don't you think? Sincerely, Fred Long from Colorado. Okay, game farming is held to the highest standards, period. But you know who the biggest game farmer is in the world? It's the United States Fish and Wildlife people. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife people, they move more animals back and forth, be it elk or deer or turkeys or, and, and with conservation groups, mind you, they move them back and forth with very, very little testing of their animals. But game farms, game farms have a huge percentage of their animals tested. So I'm just pointing this out. It's like, how can Fred Long think that game farming is bad when our government, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, oversees all this stuff and they transfer and game farm more animals than anybody else. So anyway, how do I really feel about it? I think that game farmers are so overly regulated it's ridiculous and if you know a game farmer you ought to ask him and if you don't know a game farmer you ought to get to know a game farmer. Game farmers are good guys and Fred, I think you're dead wrong. If you have any questions or comments about the program, you can shoot me an email right off of my website at keithwarren.net. And I'd also like to ask you to become a fan on Facebook. And if you've ever thought about purchasing a Polaris, give my friends over at Hoff Power Polaris a call and you'll find out how come Hoff Power Polaris is one of the top Polaris dealers in the country. Typical hill country deer weighs at the biggest 160 pounds. Now we've got some monsters on this place that'll tip the scale at 200, 210, 215. And the reason why is, is decades of improved genetics. To have trophy bucks, you gotta have trophy does. And the people that Chris deals with primarily, they, they have uh, high fence outclosures. Uh, again, the eight foot wire is nothing more than a management tool. And your rifle is a management tool. There's lots of tools out there, but 
the people that Chris deals with have got high fence uh, pieces of property. And what they'll wind up doing, they'll just call him up and say, help me. Because a lot of people, a lot of ranches in Texas, for example, have been high fence for 30, 40, 50 years, going back a long time, and they're tapped out. The genetics, they're, they're getting some 160s, maybe some 170s, but why can't they top that? It's because the gene pool is all stagnant. They, they need some new genes brought in. And what happens is that those people will call Chris, and Chris takes care of the rest. Uh, Y'all get on the management program, and you remove your does and you bring in does that are bred to big stuff that Chris Walker has, and I promise you, at the end of the day, give it three or four years, and then you have some friends back out to your place, they're gonna think that you brought in deer from, an, uh, from another planet. Because the deer, when you get on a good wildlife management program and get great genetics in your herd, they're gonna blow your mind.